So, welcome back everybody. Today I'm just chilling and we did a little thing today. Dalmon asked me to do a quick Planet Minecraft mucksmet it. And so here it is. This is a... what was it called? A nebula I forgot. class. It's a nebula class. Yay! Uh, there's a couple chunk errors but it's more or less pretty... more or less done. So. Uh, it's like a few bits you would have to patch up, but like I say, this is a nebula class. We got it off of, um, what was it called? USS something? Astoria? USS Astoria from uh, Planet Minecraft. Like I say, it's, we've done exactly the same thing as with the um, Imperium C, only the difference is, and here is the twist, guys, which I'm really happy about. This was done with the classic Minecraft by... Bobby Big Hoof in the latest version, which means there will be an updated Smedit tutorial on the way. And this here is the fruits of the first, you know, the first use of the new process. So um, I don't think it's actually used my config script. So I'm gonna have to talk to Bobby about how to get that, in, how to get the script working again. But uh, so I'm a bit, I, that's, that's a bit of a shame because I know how good this looks. I did do it first with the uh, old Joe jo jo Quinter version, but the JJ version, unfortunately, um, although it looks prettier, it does not convert properly anymore. You have massive chunk errors now due to the massive amounts of new blocks been put into the game. But as you can see, this is a really nice ship. Um, I'm going to go through one of the chunk errors right now so you can have a little peek. But if this was yeah, lit. Oh really? Uh oh. Yeah. If this was yeah. T to me, oh, so it's not a chunk error then. <laughs> there is no chunk okay. errors, Tom. I'm looking at there this are no... one whole ship. Oh, so it's just me. Sorry. Okay, guys. So I just punched a hole in it with my core. Um, but basically, yeah, this is the Planet Minecraft project, and a lot of detail went in. It has a full interior. Oh God. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry. So it's got a full interior um, with all the rooms, warp drive, full bridge, everything. But, because my config script didn't go through, none of the torches have converted to lights. In fact, many of the items which were non-physical have been converted to grey hull. And of course, that means that uh, the corridors will be inaccessible and you won't be able to get through the ship. But, that's not a problem. What was it called now? Nebula class? Nebula? Yeah. yeah. Nebula class. Oh my god, what is going on here? Are you just it's using collision? Ships. Are you just using collision damage? Yeah. Look, it's like a parasite or something. Don't mind me, just uh, just going through. Well. Eh. Uh oh. Eh. Just go in there and roll. Like, that's it. Right now, roll. Just roll the ship and bounce about. That's it. Oh my god. Oh wow. Going on. Whoa! Did you hear that? <laughs> to the extreme! Here comes the Cambot train. Yay! Yay! So yeah, um, I converted this from Planet Minecraft, just for the record. But yeah, um, it was just, just sort of to use the new uh, Smedit. Right. I spent about five days building this ship. Just so we can do this to this uh, massive Enterprise ship, whatever it is, I don't know. Was it called a Nebula? Yeah, I think Nebula class. Whoa, that thing's huge. Oh, and wait for it. My ship should collide yeah. with it any... Has my ship stopped or something? Oh, there it goes. Ping. I'm going to get down to my uh, HQ. Uh, jump. <laughs> Yay, jump for the win. Right, well, I'm going to leave it there. I think. Oh no, is my feet stuck in the floor? So what happens if I poke it? I don't know. Let's find out. How wide is it? 
Well, yeah, I th I'd say that works pretty well, actually, mate. If you just, like, hitch over and fly through it now. Yeah. Oh, God, you rotate. Star Trek didn't think of this. It did. Oh, my God. Shields. You really don't want the shield. Rotation is not a very good idea when trying to collide with it. Apparently. Damn. 